what is dreaming? As people of science, we mainly support the idea that a dream is a succession of ideas, emotions and sensations all converted into a visual story. The study of science behind dreaming is the basic concept of onirology. Dreams are said to occur involuntarily in the mind and they are directly connected with our unconscious state. This is Bob. His dreams, as everyone else's, are different both in their length and in their nature, meaning that they can influence our emotions, thoughts or even actions. They can be described as frightening, joyful, melancholic or even sexual. Truth and fiction can be blended together reflecting experiences of waking life. The dreaming process is mainly taking place during the REM stage of sleep, the rapid eye movement stage. This is because REM is a time during sleeping where our brain activity increases. This mystery starts in the brain. First the brainstem, then the hippocampus, followed by the cerebral cortex, are all stimulated through a complex pathway of neurons. REM sleep begins with signals from an area in the brainstem called pons. This excites the center of the brain, which then stimulates the cerebral cortex, the part responsible for information processing, knowledge and understanding. Here is Bob again. Whatever he sees during the day is stored in the hippocampus. When he sleeps, his memories are being transferred to the outer part of the brain, and then memories are replayed and reorganized, resulting in memory consolidation. So, do dreams serve any psychological purpose? Sigmund Freud believed that dreams are the road to the unconscious. He argued that our dreams are based on personal wishes and they exist so we can analyze them. Many psychologists, though, disagree with this concept. They believe that dreams are subconscious messages that can resolve our emotional problems or even parts of ourselves that have been ignored. Who knows? It's difficult to prove and disprove this theory. So therefore, are dreams important? Scientists know that we need sleep to function and stay alive. But do we really need our dreams? To dream or not to dream? That is the question.